Hey everybody, it's me, Samslow33, and welcome back to Let's Play Spy the Dragon. Last part, we started our adventure in Peacekeepers and Dry Canyon, and this part we're going to be going to Cliff Town. I feel like that's a pun on something, but I can't think of what it is. And this is like 10 minutes after the film. It's like a couple minutes after, like 10, yeah, 10 minutes, about 10 minutes after I did the last one. The reason was because my cat decided to walk in the, like, an annoying, she's like, she's sitting here and he's like, she's trying to bug me and I want, want to start with her, like, walking all over my lap and such. So, I'm trying to turn away, I'll wait until she sit down, which took her, like, forever. I'm pretty sure it's, like, two hours later. Not two, not two hours, it didn't take that long. Like, two, like, twenty minutes, possibly. Maybe twenty to ten. See it. I'm heading her a little bit so she doesn't like, get up and go crazy. Yeah, this is a cliff town. This ha does have some. a couple hard to find gems and a lot of weird enemies. Like these weird. women that like cook with pots. If you can spray the pots to get gems. There we go. Not spray. Sorry, Super Mario Sunshine on the mine. On the mind, shoot the pots and get some gems. You know, only once though. So it goes down this, this level is actually kind of interesting how it works. Oh, wow. Well, this enemy is going to be kind of tough. We miss him. Well, not, not too bad. That was a thief. I didn't remember there being a thief in this level. Is it a part I think he is, or is he. Now, where's the thief? I don't even remember there being a thief in this level. Here we go, first dragon, Halvor. What kind of name is that? How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? They don't. Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Okay, now I see why dragons are now doing the job for me, because Spyro apparently will listen to me. But stop missing these. That, I don't want to call them Mexican, but just because they're wearing a hat doesn't make them Mexican. The, some, there's the thief. I do not remember a thief in this level at all. <laughs> because like, maybe because I got him like really early on that he didn't bother me later. And that's really easy, by the way. So that's probably why I don't remember him because he's so easy. Thieves in Cliff Town are easy. I'm just awful. More lives that I'm probably gonna need because I've just been doing terrible. I'm used to the first level so much because the first level had like so many. Yeah, the first artist uh, had like so many. Um, health, how much so much health lying around that it was like ridiculous. But now there's not that much health in this world. Ugh. Sorry about me being sick. Oh! Yeah. I want to let go of the button to make me stop gliding, but it doesn't want me to. It doesn't want me to. It's, it's not how it works. That's not usually how games work. You don't just, like, tap a button and you continue going. You have to hold it. Like with jumping. You tap the button to jump a little bit, and then you hold it to jump higher. These enemies are so... Thanks. These enemies are so weird. Stop! Nope. I frickin' shot you. Thank you. Sometimes you can forget like one or two gems and they'll be in the pot. Oh god, I almost walked to the ledge because I was petting my cat. I love my cats, they're so, they're so nice. Except when they're being a little bit annoying. Enemies are even weird, they'll like spank these armor guys and send them after you. I don't think I took that. Uh, uh. I want to speak always flame instead of uh, charge when you can. And when you die, it's confusing because the enemies come back and then you don't know which ones you've killed and which ones you haven't. Ooh. There's a the gems in the pot. And then Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't 
Don't you glide there and find out. Good idea. Let's do that. First, there's a couple uh, things over here. This is where the end is, but obviously we're not done with this level. There's still some more things we gotta do. Let's see. Right, we got 400 gems and we're missing one dragon. See, as uh, Enzo said, let's glide over there. Oh, we got the vulture. I think, yeah, we have the vultures again, really? Ugh. They seem as aggressive as they were in Dry Canyon. And here you have this, like, hopping onto the outside thing that there was in uh, Stone Hill. Yeah. Not didn't well. Earlier I was doing pretty good in terms of sounding. Or not sounding sick, but now I'm just like, mm -hmm. yes, I'm going. Mm -hmm. So anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not talking about anything. I think that's a good assumption about why I don't know what I'm talking about. There's the last dragon, and his name is, because I know it's a him, not a she, Marco. You've reached the highest point in Cliff now. You can get to almost anywhere from here. I would be. I'd use that world. There. Uh, no. Okay, now I'll use that whirlwind there. The whirlwind just takes you back up to here. Okay, here's a couple gems up here. There's a couple, there's actually one place we can glide to that I remember having a lot of trouble finding in my first play. Okay, I'm trying to use the other analog stick to control this. I'm going to get some of these because these are in really annoying spots that I can't get to. No, I can just get, I can just jump to them. No, I can just jump to them because I can get to that platform from there. Okay, so yeah, don't, don't bother, fall. it doesn't matter if you fall down, you don't have to backtrap too much, you just go up the... Wind. The wind usually comes up in air comes up in areas that are hard to get to that basically make a place to get to it easier. Yeah, it's from over here we glide. Uh, basically you're supposed to glide all the way over here behind this castle place and this bunch of gems. This got me stumped for a while. I believe this has a 25 gem in it. That's nice. That's nice. Still missing 45. I believe there's, a, there's like a bunch of stuff on these buildings over here that I always miss. This, all, this area is always kind of confusing because there's a lot of stuff in the buildings that I just said. Repeating myself, repeating myself, repeating myself, repeating myself. Nah, I already got your egg. There's no point in chasing you. Oh my god, it won't shut up. Just like me, I won't shut up. I won't shut up. No, no, up here. I mean, like, if you do shut up, then you're not very good up here. Now are you, unless you're being really, really irritating. I think a Chuck Connor could learn a lesson from me by shutting up every once in a while. I cannot make that. Probably because I'm not supposed to. I thought there was a wind current there. That appeared once we got to the top. Wah! Not where you're supposed to go. Not at all. You're not supposed to walk up a ledge. You're not supposed to go at an angle. And you're not supposed to. Uh. Something. Oh, wait, was that the wind? No, yeah, here's the wind. I just was at the wrong spot. <laughs> Probably gonna stop recording after this episode. Okay, there we go. And it's just fireworks, fireworks. Look at how cool how it shoots out and then it goes, it explodes somewhere. Usually hits a box like that. Let's go up and get these gems though. So. No, this is the last one. No, this is the last ones. Uh Yep, four hundred. That's all the dragons. That's everything. Okay. We did it, it's uh this is Cliff Town. I really feel like that's a 
like a pun or a play on words or a reference to something. Cliff Town. Because it's just such an odd name. It just feels like a pun, but it don't know what we reference. It has to be a brick house for some reason. Brick house. Brick house. <laughs> Okay, so now it's the next level ice cavern. I think it might be going out, out, of, out of order a little bit, but there's not really an order anyway. But, 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 this is what gay people are like. Stop talking! Okay, so this is ice cavernous level. Uh, I don't remember it being too bad in terms of like trying to find stuff, but navigating can be kind of tricky because there's a. There's a lot of narrow passageways. Well, these guys. That was really easy. Oh, those guys throw snowballs at you. No, no snow levels complete, complete without. Yes, yeah, like snowballs. No, I, I ran into the dead body of the guy. Here's Ulrich. Before charging those large enemies. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna turn big after like, what? Over like no, uh, almost 15 years. Yeah. Oh, Sparrow's probably gonna hit his 15th anniversary next year. After 15 years, I'm still not a big dragon. Bah. Well, he's still not a big dragon. Speaking of which, I haven't actually played any other Spyro games other than this, and uh, I think the only Spyro games I've ever played for this are 1 and 2. I've never played any new games. I've heard Skylanders, but I'm thinking of getting, I'm thinking of at least trying. I, the problem with Skylanders is you can't try it. You, you just pay 70 bucks, and if it sucks, it sucks, and you, that sucks. And it su especially sucks with people like me who use Gamefly to get everything. Because you know you have the keep option, where you can keep the games and pay. Like you basically just buy the game. It is really, really. That's I think the, what makes GameFly good. But not, not, not talking about GameFly right now. I'm talking about Skylanders. That's the problem with stuff like that. As well as Wii Fit. I've never played Wii Fit. Probably because I don't want to. But even if I did, it cost money to get the whole thing. And it's, it's, it's a problem with accessories in video games. It's just like who wants to pay? Like thirty bucks for an accessory. Okay, we're gonna got another key. Well, we have, I think we always have keys. And levels. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely stop recording after this. I mean, stuffy and yawning. Seriously, how can you commentate when you're stuffy and yawning? Tordor. Oh, yeah, what? what? Huh? Ice makes you slippery when you're wearing just when you're wearing armor. Doesn't make much sense. Cause these poles basically get to ram into them and knock down the gems. And I am very stuffy. It's very annoying trying to get these because you almost I often fall off the ledge trying to do that. I want to try to glide down there, but I'm thinking I'm gonna die. If I try. Nope. There we go. The key. Key. Yay. I, think I'm, I don't know where I'm going. I think I missed a bunch of stuff. Oh, I do not know where I'm going. What's happening? So I guess the enemies in this game are called Norks, so. It's an interesting fact. And then there's a nasty Nork. I'm 90% not kind of Larry to pass him 90% just past like a big section. Because now I'm at the end of the level. WTF Knights. Here's what, here's what I'm talking about about the, the tricky platform. Well, first, let's, just, let's get this stuff sort of forget later. Asher. Thank you for releasing me. 
And there's that thing. This at least is a different sound clip this time. Instead of just a thank you for releasing me. Stupid dragons. Who would, who, who real person would say releasing me in a situation like that? Like releasing me. I don't know. You can't say that. And ha there, there must be a better option than releasing. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just too like fat. Not fat. Fat is in P H A T. Fat. <laughs> to understand normal grammar anymore. You really? It's a, I don't even know. I can't even tell. By the way, these guys, since they're big and armored, you have to push them off the ledge. This, these are the guys I was thinking of earlier with the. Uh, with the uh, guys in Dark Hollow. I was thinking of those guys. Big and armored. Ah! Skis! My worst enemy. I am yawning so much. Dah! Yeah, those guys aren't too tough. As long as you know what you're doing. Wait, how, how, wait, it doesn't make any sense. The enemies are gems. They don't have the gems. They are the gems. How does that guy give you it? It looks like he falls out as soon as he has started falling. Not one, not once he dies, he just automatically gives it to you. Thing. These poles, I've probably killed myself on these trying to ram into them. I wish there was just a button to headbutt instead of dashing. Just like Maybe, maybe you, maybe not going to be, you headbutt, and then if you hold it for like a second after that, you start dashing. Because this dash is actually, like sometimes when I want to continuously dash, I run into a wall. Like I'll, I'll show you if I get into a so wall. Like sometimes I run into the wall, and I keep doing this, or I keep doing this, and I just want to like jump, and I keep missing. It's really bad, okay, is, this, is that seriously the only way to get health on this level? It's kind of annoying. I never, I don't think guys will ever punch you. Is that another dragon? Is there five in this level? Yeah, there's five. I missed one. Ram. Ragnar. You've done well, Spider. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, alright. Ready for what? <laughs> Spider, you're a moron. Big moron. Good thing I got that. I was about to just jump off this ledge and say, you know, I'm done with this level. Or done with this area. But no. No, I was going to kill myself if that happened. <laughs> ah. Jeez. Okay, is there. This is 400. Okay, I don't think I passed that section. I don't think I passed the section. And it sounds like. It sounds like there's an actual, like, beast. Thank like, you for releasing me. You're welcome. That like actual dragons that you have to slay have not like friendly neighborhood dragons. My friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So, uh, you can't even tell that I was trying to be stupid with that sentence when I'm being stuffy. <laughs> Are you serious? What? What the F-U-C-K just happened? Like, I, I don't even know what was even like what. What the heck was the what, the what, the what. It's an ass. Anyway. Ugh. <laughs> that song is awesome, by the way. The thing, the thing, that, and uh... And, oh my god, what the heck was the what, the what, the what. It's an ass. <laughs> I always laugh at that. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> when you first hear it, you're just like, oh, the Joss Jefferson quote, and then it's like, you hear NCS, and you're like, what? NCS? I just said I was never gonna get a punch one of those guys. Bats! Did I pick up a gem? Yes, got the gem. Yawning, yawning, yawning! Padding, padding, yawning, padding, and yawning. Oh. 
Okay. More frickin' bats. And now I'm back here. Okay. I didn't miss anything. My cat is cleaning herself. No, great. I feel like I'm... Now I feel like I'm missing even more. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, it's just seriously necessary to have that many bats. That feels like a few too many. But what the F? Huh? What? Where am I going? How do I get to the, ch to the chest? Right, yeah, over here. Okay. Well, I got it now. Okay. I don't think this is going to have the rest of our gems, but let's just hope it does, because I'm missing like 40. Oh, well, that's a lot. But I'm pretty sure I'm missing two. F my body. Where is this two freaking gems? Uh, is this just in Spyro 2? Yes. Ah, uh, in Spyro 2 you can hold all four shoulder buttons, and Sparks will that he'll like point at uh, the nearest gem. I so wish that was in this game because it always freaking happens where there's like two gems that you miss, or one gem. It's probably it's just one gem that you missed. It's just it counts as two. I think there's actually a place in this level where you can get like three one-ups. It's kind of difficult to get to. Obviously, three one-ups is a big thing. I hope they just want like one of these windows. I think I actually know where it is. Probably not there, but I think. I remember, possibly, maybe. Okay. Sometimes you don't. You can't tell if you're gonna make it or not until the last second. Okay. I think it's close. To the end of the level. Stop yawning. Stop. Now. <laughs> already past the place I thought it was. Oh. oh, is that it? Up there? That looks like something. I just can't tell what that is. Yep, that's one and two. Okay, yeah, there's the three one-ups. Probably some weird area. You have to just like glide from some really high area. But I don't care because I have all the gems, I have all the dragons. All dragons are snow. Thief. You can usually tell when it's a thief. So, how do you get out of here? Like this. Alright, so, this is Sam Hill 33 Thanks for watching this part of Let's Play Spy the Dragon. In the next part, we'll be continuing on in the Peacekeepers. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it up. Wait, more. I think we actually will be able to finish it up. I don't actually think there's that many levels left. Next time, uh, that's the boss. Going to night flight. Ooh, doesn't that sound fun? It's actually a pretty interesting type of level. Go ahead and see it. Later.